Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to You Cannot Polish a Turd but You Can Roll It in Glitter. That is the name of today's video. We are doing some alloy wheels, sort of a refurb on some of them, but they're going to be a repaint two-tone. They're going to be metal flaked as well. So I'll take you through the whole process today. I've been out early this morning and jacked the car up and took one of the wheels off. Now, the first stage I did on this was spray it in some alloy wheel cleaner, which is like the pink wheel cleaner and you leave it and it lifts off all the brake dust and grime and then you wash that through so i've done that process then i've washed it over in soapy water gave it a really good soak in and out the barrel of the wheel cleaned it down these wheels come with like a center cap which is here so you have like a big bolt cap because in the center so then bits have been cleaned down and you've got loads of tiny little bolts that go all the way around the rim so we've got to mask off all these we're going to paint these first and then we'll mask these off we've got to paint this lip of this rim here and then we're going to do metal flake on the internal and then this lip will be a different color so it'll be two-tone we've got some new gel coat logos for the centers of the caps so they'll be going on there'll be clear coating in this metal flake we're going for a copper so it's going to be a full copper flake on the internal and then like a dark gunmetal gray on the rim so i'm leaving that to soak at the minute that's got degreaser on it i'm just leaving that to degrease and then we're going to mask the tire off sort this little scuff edge out so just knock that back 180 and then go down to a 320 drop some etch primer on just on them little bits blow it in with the ps290 and then we can start masking out and getting ready for base coats. So I'll see you in the first step. Yeah, let's crack on with these wheels, guys. See you in a bit. Right, I'll give you a little talk through on that time lapse that you've just seen. So we started off with cleaning the alloy wheel down. First and foremost, guys, if you're doing alloys, make sure they're really, really clean. Give them a good alloy wheel clean up, rinse them off, and then use your degreaser. Clean it all down for it and just keep cleaning it before you start painting. So we've done all that, and then I masked the tire off. This tire really needed the bead breaking and pushing the tire down so you can get right on that rim, but I can't do that. So we're painting it with the tires on. You can do this. As you've seen in that time lapse, I was just tucking down masking tape behind the edge of the rim, tucking that down, made a curtain, we've masked the tire off itself, masked the internal there, because this piece will sit on here. We don't need to flake this piece that can stay one color and then i went in and just scotch brighted all this up because these are quite a new alloy they i painted these a couple of years back but they've just been weathered a bit they need redoing so i went in with the scotch bright scotched it all up just scuffed back the surface and then where the little bit of curved edge was which was here i went in with the 180 by hand because it wasn't really chewed up it's just a light graze just knock that back then went down to a 320 knocked it back to the 320 and then i've used some etch primer now the etch primer that i had was in an aerosol and i didn't want to go using the aerosol and hitting it because as you know aerosol cans are all or nothing you press it and you get loads of spray coming out and i didn't want to bury this in etch because etch will fry up some of the existing paint that's on here. So I've decanted that into the PS290 and then I can dust it in with the airbrush 
and just dust the amount of etch I want down. So I put a light coat and just build these coats up nice and light. So we've gone on all the little bolt heads, gone all round there, so that's got a nice coat of etch. All the bit where it was scuffed, that's all etch primed. So this stage now is complete. We can now move on to dropping the base coat on this and this will be like a dark metallic gray. I've mixed a bit up, add some dark gray metallic. I've chucked some black in it, whatever I've got left, I'm just gonna use for these wheels. So they're gonna be base coated next. We'll let that go off and then we can start masking out all these, there's probably about 50 to 60 bolt holes in here. We're gonna mask off all them, mask that rim off once we've based it and then we can metal flake the internal metal flake this we've got to do this matching in the metallic dark gray so that'll be the center cap so yeah that's where we are so far i'll stick you in another time lapse i'm going to grab a coffee and then we'll move on with these alloys guys so i'll see you in the next day talk you through that little time lapse I had the extractor whizzing away so all that overspray was going straight out as you can see I didn't wear a mask but it was like the PS290 it doesn't dish out loads of overspray it's quite accurate because it's a small fan pattern so it was all just blasting straight out on the extractor so I went in with the PS290 with the base coat and I just started to build the layer up the layers up where I needed that base which was this rim part there a little dust in where all these little bolt holes bolts are and just dust it over the center it doesn't matter what goes on the center because this is going to be metal flaked solid metal flake all on the internal we've done the center piece which goes on here and i've also done the center cap in the dark metallic gray so the next stage on this to do is we're going to mask off the rim part and then mask out all these little bolts and then we can cover this up drop the fk50 binder down do a nice coat of the fk50 and then we can get onto the dry metal flake application so i'll see you in the next time lapse through that painstaking masking piece that I've just done. I first went in with a piece of fine line on the internal part of the rim there, went all the way round and then masked off the fine line, came up the lip of the rim, masked that piece out and then we've gone in and just done the tops, just covered up as much of this bolt head all the way round as I can. So that's that piece done. The next stage on this will be to give it a little blow down, tack rag off, and then we can move on to the FK50 surface binder and just give this a nice wet coat all in here and on this piece, and then we can get onto the metal thing. So I will see you in the next stage.
talk through along them time lapses. So we would got all the wheel masked off and we was ready to do the metal flake. I went into the FK50 surface binder and gave the wheel, the, in, the inner part of that wheel, a good wet coat of the FK50. And then we went in with the dry metal flake gun, the FK500, and I just started to dust in. The metal flake that I used, it's a large, so it's a bit bigger metal flake, so it was like a bit more tricky to do, especially on all these intricate parts inside the alloy here. So it was a case of bouncing across from the FK50 to the metal flake, wherever there was little patches where it was dry and I'd miss, and just dusted a bit more in, and then just kept building it up until I got a nice, even coverage on the rim and then I sealed it down with two good wet coats of the FK50 just to seal that metal flake down. So the next stage on this is to clear coat it and what we're going to do is we've got the centre cap there that's going to be clear coated. This centre piece here we'll move that to one side and clear coat that. So I'm just going to go in with a mini jet and do a light tack coat and then just build these layers of the clear up giving it about 10 minute flash window in between coats and we'll just build it and build it and build it until we've got a nice even coverage over this metal flake so i'll see you in the next stage the end of the video guys I gave the alloy five coats to clear and I gave it about 10 to 15 in between coats nice flash time kept checking the masking tape seeing how tacky it was before I kept putting my next coat down so that's after five coats as you can see there, that's nicely covered that metal flake nice and shiny nice gloss on that and that's your centerpiece and then you've got your center cap which bolts on in the middle so I hope you enjoyed the video, don't forget, if you're new to my channel, click that subscribe, press that notification, so you don't miss out on any more up and videos on DreadFX Custom Paint, and I shall see you in the next one. I'm going to be cracking on with these for the rest of the week, one a day, because this is basically a day to do each one. So I've got the heater on now, I'm just going to cook this up in here, get that cured, and then I can get that back on the car, swap it over, and then start the next one. So I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll catch you a lot in the next one. Thanks for watching.